Westfield handing over San Francisco center back to the lender is another hit to downtown San Francisco. And while Westfield blames a massive drop in sales, there may be more at work here. KTV's Tom Vacar tells us owners of commercial real estate can often walk away with little recourse. Westfield San Francisco Center is owned by URW, a multinational company based in Paris. URW has quit paying its Westfield loan and is walking away from San Francisco Center, turning it over to its lenders. Most individuals and businesses that walk away from mortgages lose the property, trash their credit, and can lose other assets to make up the difference owed. But URW has the kind of loan that it can walk away from without harming its other debt or exposing its other assets to collection lawsuits. Economist Professor Tom Davidoff is an international expert in commercial real estate and says such loans are common in big business, so expect more walkaways. We've seen very large uh, corporations worth billions and, uh, and billions of dollars defaulting on loans, and it's pretty remarkable. The losers are the lenders. A lot of people are concerned that uh, U.S. banks are going to run into trouble uh, due to their uh, exposure to commercial real estate loans. But banks are not alone. Some loans are securitized and held more diversely, maybe by pension funds, hedge funds, uh, investors. Davidov talks about a kind of death spiral, where fewer workers coming downtown usually drives a lot of businesses that serve them out of business, leaving even fewer workers, and that means that the spiral continues that obviously affects the tax base, and that leaves other taxpayers to try to pick up the difference if they can. Across Market Street, on the entire block, only one small shoe store remains with other nearby stores to leave, often saying theft, crime, and filth reduce customer traffic. San Francisco supervisor Asha Safai says it's clear we need a change in the conditions on our streets so shoppers and employees can feel safe in our downtown. What will ultimately pull Market Street and the city out of a potential death spiral is its tech base, mild climate, lifestyle opportunities, and natural beauty. But I think we've got at least a, a, a few years of some real problems for downtown San Francisco. A far cry from the joy and pomp of opening day 35 years ago, before the dot-com crash, before 9-11, before the Great Recession, and before the wreckage of the pandemic. Tom Baker, KTVU Fox 2 News.